Hello guys, welcome to another video and this is going to be part of my uh, mechanical pencil series and uh, this time around I'm going to be doing the battle of the Stadler mechanical pencils so I got three different types of mechanical pencils here I've got the Tri Plus Micro which is a 0.7 millimeter pencil I've got the Mars Draft which one is a 0.5 and one's a 0.7 then I've got the Mars Techno on on here as well so we're going to do a quick unboxing of all of these mechanical pencils I'm going to um, compare the three of them and um, yeah so let's go from there so what we'll do is we'll do the micro first so we'll just get Let's take a quick look at the package here. So this one here actually has a twist eraser on the top. And uh, so it's got a PVC housing. Yeah, so let's uh, go ahead and uh, crack this open. So this is actually a not bad value because I believe I paid ten dollars for these three pencils and um, it can get quite expensive actually they, uh, they feel they got quite a bit of weight to it so we'll go with um, we'll keep the theme of the blue here okay so this one here is not a rounded barrel it's almost like a rectangular barrel so I don't know if I can show you guys this or not. Yeah, I kind of see it a little bit. So it's kind of like a rectangular, rectangular shaped barrel. Now of course, it's got the plastic clip here, which I'm not a very big fan of. It's got these this rubber uh, a membrane here, just like the um, Pentel Smash does. So of course, when you press down, you you're actually pressing the whole thing to advance your lead and there's lead in there already right and then you actually turn the actual pencil to advance this forward okay so this is this top come off yeah so the whole top here actually comes off to expose the barrel here for the leads there's only one lead in here right now it's got a very narrow tube here so you ain't going to be able to put very much leads in here at a time okay so that's that one there um, what I'll do is I'll open their, all of them up and then we'll do a, a writing comparison between all three pencils so how's that how's that so let's do the Mars draft now so like I said this is a 0.5 and a 0.7 millimeter pencil so you get two different sizes so let's go ahead and crack this guy open and I don't remember off the top of my head how much how much uh, this one was because I've had this one here for a while actually in fact I actually forgot that I actually had picked this up it's been that that long and I was going through my stash here and, and I oh okay I didn't even know that I had that I had this because it's starting to get harder and harder to start buying different mechanical pencils because you gotta start kind of keeping track of what what uh, what pencils you have and whatnot, so I might have to start creating a uh, a um, spreadsheet. Okay, these are very thin. First of all, so we're going to do. So this is the 0.5. We'll do the 0.5 because this one, the other one is. Well, the other one's a two millimeter lead holder, but okay. So this one here is the Stellar 925. 
Um, it's got a plastic grip here. And this also has this, um, I'll have to figure out how that turns. But this has got a metal clip to it. Also, you guys can actually see it here. So this actually has a metal clip to it, so that's a uh, bonus. So that's uh, that's a right an advantage compared to uh, to the Mars. No, oh, hold on here. Let me get this correct here. Yeah, to the Mars. So, so that's a big improvement right there, right there, and then. Um, let's see here. So we got a little hole. Oh, that's a tiny little eraser. Wow, that's small. That's a small eraser. Whereas it's got a decent long one. Also, this actually has a needle to poke the front, uh, the front of the barrel, just in case it gets kind of stuck. As you can kind of see that. I don't want to really uh, poke yourself with that. So this actually has a very big, big tube here, so you can put lots of leads inside with no issues. So that's already a plus right there compared compared to this one over here. So um, this also feels like it's plastic. This is almost like a, like plastic as well. So build quality between these two are almost identical except for this clip here. And of course the front of the uh, of the um, barrel here. Of course this one has a very narrow narrow barrel compared to uh, okay so this one here I just noticed that it actually the tip actually retracts inside so this is actually pocket friendly. This is not pocket friendly because this does not go inside. But also, if you're using this up against a ruler or whatnot, this would probably be a better choice because it's got a, a very long um, barrel here, so you can actually get to the ruler closer compared to this one over here. All right. So let's check out the Mars Techno. So let's open this sucker up. So this one here was actually uh, a pretty good value. I paid, I believe I paid six dollars for this, and you get the actual pencil. You get you get some leads, and you actually get an eraser along with this. So that's actually a pretty good, um, pretty good value right there. And then, in my opinion. Um, let's see here. Let's see if I can get into this. I make this thing so difficult to get in. It's slightly like funny. Hey, right. so that eraser is identical to a standard Stedler. Um, eraser so I'm not even going to bother to open that up so here's some replacement leads and uh, here's the actual pencil okay so the Mars Techno okay wow this actually feels pretty nice on uh, on the hands it's a very thin. It's it's more thinner than the two pencils here, but the construction of it it actually feels a lot better. I like the uh, the metal uh, grip here. It's almost like serrated. Go on, focus. Pull this back a little bit so you guys can kind of. So it's almost serrated, so that kind of gives you the extra grip to uh, grab onto the pencil. You got a metal clip here, so that's a bonus. 
right? And this one here appears to have a sharpener on the top. So there is no, okay, so there is no eraser with this one. Um, okay, so you can't advance the lead without having the cap actually on this list. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. All right, so this one here, it actually just opens the claw and you just manually move the lead to where you want it. So you gotta kind of be careful with that. So, let's um, try this eraser. So you kind of see the uh, the graphite there a little bit, but um, yeah. So this one here, you gotta really be mindful to this here because this thing does not click advance. So you kind of have to just make sure that you kind of adjust it by hand. So you just gotta be mindful about that. All right. So, of course, this one here, I can't test the eraser on it because the eraser happens to be this and I'm not going to open this up because I already know how that erases. So let's bring my pad out and uh, let's uh, give this a try here. All right. So we'll do we'll do the um, the trip tri plus micro first. Actually, even though because it has a triangle barrel to it, it actually makes it pretty easy to. Um, to write with and honestly and this one here just take and twist to expose the uh, eraser see how that erases actually erases pretty good does it get dirty no, it doesn't look like it gets dirty. So, I wonder if you can actually replace this eraser. Push it all the way, all the way forward. So there is quite a bit here. So yeah, it does come off. Um, the question is to actually get it back in here is going to be a different story. Let's see if I can get this to fit. Yeah, so it takes a little bit of uh, a finessing to get the eraser back in there, but it's, it's doable. So that's that one. And then we'll do the uh, The Mars draft next. So actually this is not bad to write with either. I would have thought this because this being smooth here it would be harder to hold on to, but really actually it's it's um it's not. Huh, interesting. Okay, let's um, check this tiny eraser. See, this tiny eraser didn't do such a good job. Not as a good job as, as this one here did. So, yeah, I probably wouldn't use it. So that's... Uh, 
the eraser parts of fail. And then this guy here, well, this actually feels pretty nice. Interesting. It's so, it's so sharp that uh, it's actually punching a hole through the paper. This must have a different type of um, lead. Oh, what's the hardness of this lead? So the hardness of this, uh, this lead here is a 2H. So I'm assuming what's inside this pencil is what's these leads over here. Actually, one of the ideas that I'm going to have with, um, with these mechanical pencils down the road is I have been buying a whole bunch of different um, leads from uh, different manufacturers from Pentel to uh, Papermate, um, Stedler, Stedler uh, uh, leads and um, Edaball and whatnot. I'm actually going to be doing a video on comparison between all these leads. I have also bought, I uh, also picked up a couple of cheaper, cheaper LEDs, you know, LEDs from uh, from the dollar store and whatnot. I'm going to be comparing all that together. So that's going to be a video coming down the road here. Also, another thing that I also want to do is I have not found um, any videos on, on YouTube. Now, I don't know if I'm not doing my search parameters correctly or not but I want to compare the hardness of these leads compared to an actual um, um, drawing pencil set I actually have a set of uh, a small set of uh, drawing pencils here with me that's got the, the, the different shades of 2H you know the HB and uh, you know the 2B and, and whatnot I'm in the process of process see if I can find the LEDs with different uh, shadeness and I actually want to do a video comparing uh, the actual pencils to the actual LEDs I want to see if there actually is um, a difference in shade shade uh, shadeness between buying LEDs right like buying leads like this or or actually buying pencils to actually use so that's something that I want to that I'm planning it's in the planning stages right now and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that's kind of wondering about that so I will be doing a video on that as I'm just in the process of trying to find all the different shades of leads and stuff like that so it's probably not going to happen right away but that will be coming down the road and um, yeah so basically which one would I use uh, use and use as a daily driver for everyday use um, I think it would be the draft is probably the one where I would probably use as a daily driver out of the three um, I've been collecting a lot of mechanical pencils since I've started in the early of the year here and uh, I will be uh, making a video probably towards the end of the year uh, which is my all-time favorite daily driver as in terms of mechanical pencils right so that'll be coming down as well but as these three right now I think this is the one that's a winner for me for the moment uh, this one here is nice on the hand and everything but you gotta really watch that you don't accidentally hit this because this lid will just fall right out if you accidentally touch the top you put it in your pocket or whatnot right so you really got to watch for that so because if you just press it and let it see how it just falls right out 
so yeah so this would actually be a little easier for to load the lid up front or oh, for the front of the pencil too so that's uh, kind of a bonus there too but I also do have other 0.2 millimeter lead holders because this, this one here is pretty much actually these mechanical pencils they're all basically lead holders in an essence right but yeah because this one here yeah you get lots of lead with it but if you forget to take this with you and you don't know how much lead you got left right you can run out pretty quick right this one here, just make sure that you got a whole bunch of lids inside when once it's finished, you can just you know keep pressing it'll just load the next lead back back into the pencil, right? All these other ones have that ability to do it. So anyway, I think I think that's pretty much it for uh, you know for this little unboxing video slash comparison. You know battle of, of the Stedler Stedler uh, mechanical pencils I've opened up other ones in the past right you can always go, always can go and check out my my playlist for mechanical pencils I have a whole bunch of other ones there and uh, whatnot so hopefully this helps you guys you know kind of decide which one out of these three should I buy right so hopefully it was helpful and if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up um, if you enjoy the rest of my content please consider subscribing and there will be more there's gonna be more mechanical pencils um, videos coming up and whatnot um, this seems to be the most popular thing for the channel right now and they're really inexpensive it doesn't really take very much of a big um uh investment basically so you know it's a little bit easier for me to go and you know let's go and spend twenty dollars or thirty dollars or whatever and get you guys a whole bunch of mechanical pencils and and do these videos for you because you know this is not my my main income actually it's not even an income just yet so yeah so i have to really watch what you know what i can kind of spend on here i'm um, hopefully that you know once um starting getting more more uh, monetization and stuff that i'll be able to give you guys you know better all boxings of more technology and whatnot but anyway that's different that's a different story altogether so i've been rambling enough so that's that's pretty much it so yeah so thank you uh, for watching this video and uh, until the next time, goodbye.